This video solves the problem if you get uh, this me message, error message on your website and I su ass assume that you have an uh, ASP.NET call um, application in the background. So this means an unhandled exception occurred while processing your request. So that's because we said anything to this, to this local host server. Invalidation operation exception unable to resolve a service of type and then comes something blah 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 and now watch this one uh, database context so this is a database context while attempting to activate blah 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 nodes controller while while you try to uh, activate a controller Microsoft extension uh, dependency in injection watch on this one uh, activation utilities get service. Mm, what is ha what happened now? In my application, I created an application where I took from a database by scaffolding my uh, my table into my application. So this was because I had here a server explorer. Here is my server. Here is my database. I in this case, I took this one here. There is it here, somewhere there. No, 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 no. Where is it? Uh, a second. Give me a second. Give me a second. There it is here. For this case, I created a small database and I took inside there. I said, uh, transfer my database into my application as a model and this is the model what the system did it uh, created a small table dropped my id in there title details something else you know and and further thing what it did was an api database context so this is it's the context which connects the database from there so this is the database as we said here's the database no, I always click on the wrong one. This is my database and the database has a connection string and inside the connection string we have, where is it? Uh, I have to drop it to stop it. When I stop it, then we, you will see here there's a um, field and oh, okay, stop. Sometimes, sometimes when I want to show something, um, everything is wrong now i drop this one i go there now it's connected and we have some um, properties in there now here are the properties and inside the properties we have this one data source is something like this here is my data connection that's my connection string to my database please take this one that's it said it says uh here from here SQL Server Express, my local database. So you may throw this away and take a point for this. So da, 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 da. a lot of explanations. This is the connection string. And I said scaffolding here somewhere there, scaffolding, connect that database and drop a system in there. And now it created all tables which were in the database. So this is only one table. It's called note. And then it also added the database context, which is the which is the connection string, like this one. So and that's that's dependency injection. That's what the error said. It tries whenever you have a controller, you try to get the uh, API database connection context, the context to the database to your application, to your nodes controller, that's somewhere there. Controllers, nodes controller, and then in the nodes, nodes controller it says API, that's a root, and then it says drop your API, your database connection into this stuff. And the error says, okay, this doesn't work. You may set some breakpoints on there, but you will not come to, to that point uh, to that you may get this one API notes. Go there. You will see the breakpoint never comes to, to that position. No position, no breakpoint, nothing. You see? 
and it says, okay, something is wrong with the database context. And that's what it is. Now it come, we come to the solution. Go on, Raymond. In the startup file here, where our API control uh, system is, our application, there's a startup file. And inside the startup file, we have one block which is called configure services. Now, the system knows everything about uh, there's a swagger installed using routing, routing the API and so on. But one thing is missing. When we configure it, we need one line which is called services at db context and then under the folder, under that's the folder here, uh, my application models. Inside there, we have the API DB, uh, database one context. Now we have a look in there. So in this file, system created by scaffolding said, okay, this is my, that's the application, my namespace. And inside there is a folder which is called model. And inside the model, we have this AD, uh, API database. So now I take this one here, I inserted this line. And now we start it again. And now we will see here's our API and here's the breakpoint. We have a breakpoint in there and now the system says, okay, I create a nodes controller with a database connect uh, connection. Let's go on. And now it creates a task and says, get my nodes get notes is this one we also may say api get notes for example or the name of the our controller and now we are where is it here we may go on and now we say go on jump jump ahead and now here are our results this is my data the values for my database and this was the solution what you have to do if you get anything with it by this confusing uh, message. Well, I was looking now for one week, for one day. This is the uh, solution. Enter this, uh, enter a configuration string of your database. So this is after this point, you have the uh, injectable uh, configuration for the context.